Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here at New York Comic Con 2016 here at the Diamond Select Toys booth with Mr. Zach Oat. How are you doing today, Zach? I'm doing good. It's good to see you out here. Yeah, good to see you too. I love being in New York, so and I love being at the Diamond Select Toys booth, so this Thanks. is a good time, Thanks. man. I'm excited. No, I'm, I'm glad, to, glad to talk to you, man. It's always good to do an interview with you. Yeah, and, and we're doing something a little bit different right now. We have some figures right over here to show off. So these are some samples that we can look at and show off to the yeah. viewers, yeah, and talk about a little bit. Sweet, sure. yeah. yeah. These, oh, let's get to the Odin man. Uh, this is uh, actually the first time I've been able to play with a production sample of the uh, Odin in the destroyer armor, and uh, he's he's pretty cool. He's, he's nice and heavy. He's got the the spikes, not too sharp, not too sharp on the spikes, so you're not gonna hurt yourself handling him. Oh, like um, the anti venom. <laughs> yeah, not, not anti venom sharp, but um, <laughs> but you know he's got the, the the floating shoulder pads there, like on the Hulkbuster. The, those are the arm. Yeah. And uh, you know the sword comes in out of his hand pretty easily. Uh, you know it's, it's the fingers spread a little bit, and the, and the little knob there gets past it pretty quick, and the head yeah. comes off real easy. And yeah. you get that destroyer head on there. And when it's not on, you can tuck it under the arm and have it look like he's carrying oh. his helmet around. So, you awesome. Know. Oh my goodness. That is sick. He's a really nice figure. He's got a pretty good range of articulation, too. You know, I mean. How's yeah. that ankle pivot? Let's see that ankle pivot. Let's see that rock, rock, oh. Ooh, little, yeah, little, little, little rock. Oh, Little rock there. Get that yeah, rock going yeah. on. Got you like that. You know oh, you yeah. like that. Yeah. Oh, I love the ankle pivot. Oh my gosh, look at that. That oh, is shit. looking sick. Damn, look at that. So yeah, you can get a pretty good, pretty good wide stance on him, you know. Like, yeah. Wow. Can I hold for a second? Yeah, pick him up, man. Oh, nice. Wow. Would you mind holding yeah. this? <laughs> this is cool. Yes. All right. Is there a thigh cut? Oh, yeah. Oh, All there right. Is a, I didn't yeah. even know there was a Need hidden a thigh, thigh cut in there. That is really... You're breaking this guy in for him. Yeah. That thigh cut is just sneaky in it's, there. it's hidden. It's hidden. It's on that seam wow. there. Ooh, yes. That is nice. Okay. And the torso is the torso cut's even pretty hard to see there with all the lines going on. Yeah, I feel like there's supposed to be a waist cut in here, but it's not moving. It's a diaphragm no. joint, though. Maybe there, there might be or, a waist in there. We'll have to, yeah, I don't want to play break, around yeah, with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know wow, this is cool. Let okay. me give it a twist. Here, hold on. Yeah, yeah. See what we'll do it? Will it bend at the waist? Yeah, it might, uh, not, be waist. It might not be a waist. No, no, it's right. just a but yeah you know, diaphragm. You got, you got the diaphragm, which yeah, that still a lot, works. A lot of the job. Yeah, no, no, that so. I'm so cool with that. I like that a lot. Ooh, cannot wait to get my hands on one of these. Yeah, that destroyer is sick. He's a little sharp, a little sharp. Not too bad. Yeah, not too bad at all. Wow, this is, <laughs> that's actually pretty awesome, man. It's been a while since we've gotten one of these bigger selects, like the Juggernaut, the Rhino. Um, I think those were the last few that we got that were kind of like on this massive size, yeah, the right? Hulk, uh, the Hulkbuster was a lot of fun to play with. Yeah, too. the that Hulkbuster. Was, that, was, that was post Rhino, so Hulkbuster might have That's, been the last big one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Savage yep, Hulk yep. Was, was not too long ago either, but he wasn't, mm -hmm. you know, he was a um, special case. Yeah, yeah, he didn't have that that yeah. stand, that much articulation compared to this guy right here. Sweet. Well, we're doing some more big stuff, so hopefully you guys like it. Excellent, awesome. Oh, yes. And, that, and then we have some Mallrats yeah, figures. I know you like the Kevin Smith movies. Yes, I so, do. Uh, since we had a production sample of uh, Brody from Mall Rats, and he comes with the pretzel. Out. He comes with a little chocolate-covered pretzel. Yes. He comes with a cookie in the bag. I didn't yeah. bring the pretzel; it's too small. Uh, he uh -huh. comes with a little uh, cup for getting his free beverages. Nice. And uh, I think he comes with a couple other things too. I mean, they all do. Uh, him and Jay are in the first series, and Jay comes with like the sock full of quarters, I guess, and the bat. And, yeah. uh, and um, the Bob figure comes with the interchangeable head with a bat helmet. Awesome. Um, and uh, like the utility belt that comes off. Yeah. So. Wow, this is looking really good. You know, I mean, they're, they're, they're pretty posed. We don't have like the thigh cut stuff like that. We don't want to break up the sculpt too much. It's not, it's hard to hide something like that on one of these. But, but you know, they can, they can, they can hit a lot of poses. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. That really looks like Jason Lee too. Yeah, they That's did a great good. job on the likeness. Yeah. Thing. So. Nice. Excellent. I, I really, <laughs> yeah. There we go. Pretty sweet, man. Thank and you. Then we have, and then we have some Ghostbusters too. Yeah, I yeah, always forget you know, this character's name. Was um, we haven't you haven't done much with our Ghostbusters. I have to get you to do some more Ghostbusters stuff. But, yeah. Uh, she's in. Uh, this is Gozer. She's in That's series right, four. That's right, Gozer. Yeah. yeah. So she's. Um, you know, uh, there was one of these before. NECA did one that was um, a little more static. She didn't have the elbows or the knees or anything like uh -huh. that. I don't think she had knees. Um, but uh, this one's a little bit more posable. You yeah. know, I had her in some cool reclining poses on the on the temple yeah. base that we do. Mm -hmm. So she'll come with a diorama part at specialty stores, so Excellent. you can build that rooftop. 
And nice. she'll, she won't come with one at Toys R Us. She'll just be a basic figure. But she can she can get into a lot of, yeah. a lot of great poses. She's got you know a lot of a lot of action going on. And uh, yeah. I had her like you know reclining with like one leg up and like putting like, on one elbow. Yeah, how long? How far can you move that one? Leg? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a double it's a double that. joint. You know the the joint nice. inside isn't isn't uh, it's 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 more functional than anything. So you know you may not want to open up too far. You may want to soft light and soften it up first before you get it turning. <laughs> soften her up first. There you go. Yeah, you got to soften it up. <laughs> but. Uh, it's the Trump interviews of the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. So, you know, oh, you, that's you can get into some cool, like, lounging around poses. I feel like she doesn't get into them in the movie, but she should. She should be lying yeah. around, lounging around. She may be like so a crawling what, thing. I don't know if they can do a crawling. She's supposed to seduct... Uh, they probably do a crawling. The no. key master, right? Is it? No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is that's, part that's, two, yeah. right? No, this is part one. But God, she's a, my the memory. key master and the gate gatekeeper come together. That's Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, and, 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 and uh, Rick Moranis. She, yeah, Rick Moranis. Tully. And then yeah. they uh, then they summon her, and then she comes along, and she doesn't really interact with anybody except for like the terror dogs. But we're gonna have the terror dogs that's figure, right. so she can be like you know petting it on the head and stuff like that. Excellent. You know, maybe you can get to like a crawling around pose, like she does a kind of like feline like on the head. Yeah. Thing, but, I don't know. You could do something like that. Nice. There's a lot nice. of things you could do. Yeah. That, so it's nice cool. sculpting on the back. I, I, I like it. And it I think she has good. some interchangeable hands too. I think she has some more resting hands in addition to these sort of uh, shooting energy at people hands. Uh -huh. um, I don't think there's a. I don't think there's an alternate head for her, but she's still pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Very good looking piece. Wow, man. And as, this is. Um, they have some other stuff in around on the other side too. Do you want to take a look at that? Yeah, sure, man. Let's All right, let's take a look. Yeah, this Harley Quinn statue is looking absolutely gorgeous. I actually reviewed the Poison Ivy. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. yeah. This is our second uh, full-size resin of Harley, the nurse outfit. Uh, but we did the one in the Mad Love outfit, and I'll have to get you that one because I know you like the pieces. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so that one's going to be next. That one's not quite out yet. And these are the resin pieces. These are $150. They're you know a 12-inch scale more or less. We do the yeah. smaller scale line which is the uh, the nine inch PVC figures over here yeah and you can see um, we're showing yeah. off for the first time uh, this um, the Batman New Adventures Poison Ivy that's nobody's seen that before this show uh, Huntress was just revealed in previews recently uh, Black Canary and Zaytana and, and uh, Galatea are all pretty new ones um, that Harley we've offered for the lawyer Harley um, and uh, Batman's out now but this Joker is another one that we're just showing for the first time it's a variant on one we did with a hat this one's got a fish but these are PVC, so they're like $45 suggested retail yeah. price. And, uh, you know, they're 9 inch scale, a little smaller than the other ones. Uh huh. And, uh, they, yeah. And you have some other mall rats? Yep, here's here. the rest of the mall rats line. Uh, and Jay, the yoga hosers, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yoga hosers, mini mates, two pack, right? I do. Um, but uh, Jay's gonna be the second one in series one for mall rats. Yeah. And they all come with uh, backgrounds for the mall. So she's, he's got the rug munchers. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I think uh, Kevin, I think uh, Silent Bob has the popular girl backdrop. And he's got the grappling gun and the helmet and the toy truck and all that. That stuff. Jay's got like a ba baseball bat over there and alternate hands for the devil horns. Yeah. And um, Renee's gonna come with shopping yeah. bags and she a purse. Beautiful. That, that's a beautiful looking statue. Thank you, uh, thank you. Figure, I mean. Yeah, no, it's, um, I, I think it's maybe the first action figure ever of, uh, of Chan and Doherty. Okay, uh, yeah. Because when we, when we announced her, everybody was very, very excited about it. And uh, she, you know, she was having some, um, she was in the news a lot at the time, so I think people were like, oh, Chan and Doherty action figure, first ever. So yeah. that's pretty cool that we're making the first one of her. Excellent. And then there's some Gotham stuff yep. coming out. I'll, I'll be reviewing. You're gonna be reviewing these soon, right? Yeah, of course. Gotham Series Three is out. Uh, just hit very right now. Uh, you got Bruce Wayne with the bookshelf, and you got uh, uh, Barbara Keen with the Arkham Asylum gate. That's three pieces in the package. You get that whole thing. Uh, nice. It comes apart, you know, and, and um, the columns have, are interchangeable to either side. And uh, Mr. Zaz yeah. uh, is gonna come with uh, the, another section of the alleyway and also um, the dumpster. We weren't able to get that dumpster out with um, uh, Harvey Bullock, but he's uh -huh. gonna come with Mr. Zaz. Okay, I think that was the dumpster that was on the back of the packaging, but it wasn't yes, included, yes, right? Yes, yes, it, it, uh, it was a miscommunication uh, that was very unfortunate. Uh, but uh, Harvey Bullock is still a really cool figure. It's one, yeah. of, it's one of my favorite figures in the line. It's yeah. a great likeness. But yeah. um, the dumpster, uh, we managed to get out with Mr. Zaz. And Mr. Awesome. Zaz actually comes with like interchangeable gun hands, nice. and the regular hands, and also a pair of pistols, two pistols. So, awesome. Uh, so awesome. That's very cool. 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 And let's take a quick look at the Marvel Gallery statues really sure. fast. So some of these we've seen before, but then there's been some changes. Like first off, we have Jewel right over here looking absolutely beautiful. Yeah. The Doctor Strange looks great. That's uh, coming winter this year. Yeah, right? he's gonna be maybe end of the year. She'll be like early 2017. They're both a little bit further off. Spider-Man and Hulk, these are actually production samples. This is what they're gonna look like oh, right cool. here. So yeah. you can see these two guys. Those are those are PVC plastic. Um, $45 each, Hulk, yes, $45. And those will be out, uh, I believe by the end of the year, you'll see both of those. And uh, we recently, we showed um, 
Medusa in our first batch of pictures at New York Toy Fair, but we've actually updated her a little bit, and we've only just now solicited her. So she's now got a uh, sort of like a mesh screen that goes down the front of her dress, uh, and she's gonna she was just offered now, so you'll be able to pre-order her. I think by the end of the month, and she'll be out uh, like spring of next year. And, and remind me exactly how she how she looked before. Was it not a mesh before? It was, it was, uh, it was bare. It was bare skin from from uh, necklace ah. necklace down to the jewel there, but um, oh, okay. but to make it more, uh, we just add just we thought it added something and you know made it a little bit more a little more modest. We thought it was a little bit over the top before, so we, ah, okay. we added this, and uh, I think it's a really cool effect. So yeah. um, we're definitely doing. We're, that's yeah. that's what she's gonna look like in the final production. It makes me. I still like it. Like it. I still like oh, it. Oh yeah, no, I mean, so it does like, certainly doesn't uh, still make it less beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't take anything away from I, me. I think it adds to it myself, but that, yeah. that's just me. It's got, got the S&M kind of vibe a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. That's just my thoughts on it. <laughs> and then you made a change right over here with the Spider-Gwen, right? This, well, is, yeah, a this little... is actually a new addition, a new addition of Spider-Gwen. The um, unmasked Spider-Gwen with the blonde hair coming out is going to be uh, out pretty soon. I think within the month we've got a package sample. Um, but this is a masked variant that we're doing uh, that we're going to offer um, uh, sometime in the middle of next year. We haven't offered her to retailers yet, but I believe you'll see a solicitation for her in the next couple of months. I don't believe she's going to be exclusive to anywhere, but um, I'll, I'll keep everybody posted on that on social media and whatnot. Nice. But nice. Um, yeah, she'll be. She's going to be. Uh, you know, the mass version. It's very different. Different release from the unmasked version. Awesome. And then the Marvel Select Doctor Strange, which I cannot wait to get. Or the Select Doctor Strange, I can't wait to get my hands on that one. That looks awesome. Yeah. No, that's um, honestly, it's, it's it's one of my favorite uh, movie selects so far, and I love the movie selects, but um, yeah. not just the figure. The figure is great, and he will have inner changeable hands and including one open to cast that spell it'll, it'll it'll fit his fingers will fit into that um that spell disc right there so he'll be able to cool. hold it out like that but the the base just kills me i, I love it the uh yeah, the, the big window Centaurum. i think they're going to try to get that printing on the window uh on the window in the back you can see it through the past the uh, the frame there and yeah. uh and the, but the floor is pretty amazing too that um that carved sigil with the with the paint yeah. wash um, really i haven't cool. seen it. this is obviously a resin prototype so we'll see how the final production piece comes out but if it's even half as cool as that i, I I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Excellent. Great stuff, Zach. Love what you guys are doing. And I'll catch you next time at the next convention, Yeah, man. man I Thank can't you wait. Thank you so much. All Always right. good to see you. Great seeing you, too. New York Comic Con 2016.